I'm Ms. Zertastic, and today we're going to draw a nice little coffee cup. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> Okay, let's get started on our coffee cup. So we're going to begin our drawing with an oval. So towards the top of the page, draw an oval. Draw two lines down on a diagonal. Curve it back in, keeping that bottom line parallel with this. So these two need to be parallel. Next two little lines out. Draw another parallel line. So this line is again parallel to this line and that one. And we will go about again and clean up some of these lines in a second. So if they're not even, that's okay. Draw two lines down. We're just creating the lid here. One more line and yes, you guessed it, parallel to the other ones. Okay, you can go ahead and go over those lines a second time to tidy them up and even them out. Perfect, and once you have that done, we're going to draw um, the rest of the cup. So first we need to draw the hole where the coffee is sipped out of. So on one side of the lid, draw an oval and color it in black. And of course, because this is a steaming hot cup of coffee, you can draw a little wisp of vapor coming on up and I like to draw a second line down the center and that way we'll add some color variation later. Next we're going to draw, hmm, we're going to draw two lines down on a diagonal. We're going to stop because we need to put that carton two lines down from that curtain area, then back across, nice and thick. Perfect. And then continue the cup. Now we're going to add some feet. So curve line out, curve line out, up on a diagonal, so draw the foot up on a diagonal and those two lines can meet just like that. Thicken up the lines. Perfect. Next, we're going to give our coffee a cute little face. So we're going to draw one circle on this side. So on one side of your coffee cup, draw a circle. On the other side, we're going to draw an arch. And I like to thicken it up by drawing a parallel line. You can color that in. So one eye is kind of winking because this is such a cute coffee cup. Okay, you can also add some lashes on it if you would like. If you don't want to, that's okay. Under this first eye, we're gonna draw a half circle and under the second one, a full oval. And then we're gonna give it some little lips, 
little kissy lips. Okay, let's finish off this eye. Draw one big circle in it. And two tiny circles, just like that. Color in the eye, everything but those circles with your black. Perfect. Next, we're going to add a design to the label. So if you want, you can add a design. I'm just gonna color this green and leave that center white, but you can go ahead and draw a design in your label. Actually, maybe we'll put a little heart in here. And once you're done drawing your coffee cup, you are ready to color. Okay, I'm gonna be using felt markers to color, but you grab whatever you want to color, whether color with, whether it's wax crowns or felt markers or paint. So you do you. I'm gonna start off with a gray, so most of mine is going to be white, with the exception of the color on the face and on the cardboard. Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna take my gray and we're gonna shade first. You can use gray wax crown felt marker, it's up to you. We're going along one side and under that lid. And along the underside of the flakes. And a nice thick line under that cardboard sleeve. Okay around the eyes with your marker to add some shading. Around the cheeks and the mouth and on the cardboard sleeve, you can also add some shading if you really want, it's up to you. Just makes it stand out a little bit more. Okay, next, um, I'm actually going to switch, get a little bit of a lighter color here. We're going to shade in part of the lid. So on the sides that go downward, we want to shade it. The tops will be, of course, light. I'm going to shade half my wisp of vapor here, or steam, with one of my grays. And I'm gonna do darker with on the other half. Now, if you don't have two different grays, you can press firmer or press lighter. So you can color dark by pressing harder or you can press lighter to make a lighter value. Okay, I'm going to grab my green. color my sleeve in with my green. And I'm going to color that heart in the center green as well. But of course you can do whatever color makes you happy. this off I'm gonna grab a pink because I need to do those little cheeks cheeks and if you really want you can take a blue and go along the insides of those circles in the eyes just a tiny blue line to make it stand out you can even do that on that logo if you want maybe a little bit of blue along the top of the lid. And that's just gonna make it pop. Maybe a little bit on the top of the feet. Oh yeah. And just like that, our cute little mug or a coffee cup ready to travel with us to keep us caffeinated is done. 
If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at mizartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.